What's up guys, Slipster here. Today we're going to go over... <clears throat> Sorry, there's my voice there. Today we're going to go over um, deleting units of triggers again, because last time I think my, and my code was a little sloppy with it, and this kind of condenses it a little bit, but mainly because uh, Chaot MC was saying when he was trying to set up multiple triggers to have multiple helicopters coming in, it just wasn't really working. Like, he couldn't get them all to delete correctly, so I thought I'd go over it again and have a little bit better coding for it. So, right now I have three different helicopters and one trigger. And I've named each helicopter a different variable. So you double click on them, you see the variable. I did heli 3. This one's heli 1. This one's heli 2. And they're grouped right now because I was screwing around with that, but that doesn't matter. Um, they don't need to be grouped for this. Um, it's actually just going to make their movement really weird because they're going to try to follow the leader and they crash sometimes, so that might be ridiculous. But but so I'm just over here. But so those all have their um, variable names. They have move points over here, so they'll fly through it. And we have one trigger down. So you double click on the trigger, and all I did different was I set the sizes for the trigger to expand it. Type you don't need anything. Activation blue four because these are blue four units. If these were not blue four units, you'd want it to be op four, or you could put it as anybody, but we're gonna do blue four because it will activate when these guys come in. Activation type is present, again, because you want them to activate when they're in the area, not when they're out of the area, so let's do present. And down here is the different code from last time. So what we have here is heli one, well, this part up here, this top three parts, is the part that I couldn't really figure out how to condense that well. Um, this what this is doing is, and this chunk right here is what I'm talking about. It's going to delete helicopter one's crew um, for just heli one right there, and then this will do it for heli two, and this will do it for heli three. So if you add in a helicopter four, you just have to copy this code again, just this one line right here, paste it underneath it, and change the variables to heli four or heli four or whatever you have it for the fourth one. If you only have one helicopter, you can do the same code that I'm doing right now. You just delete these extra two ones, and you'll change the part down here too. But <clears throat> So when we go down here, we have the part that's actually deleting the vehicles. And this is the part that I could actually condense and make it a little easier for having multiple vehicles. Um, so this is the last bit, which is separate from the other ones, and it's deleting the vehicle. Remember, you do not touch this X. That's This X is for the for each command. I don't know it very well, so I can't explain it that well, but it's for that. Um, so it's going to delete the vehicle of heli 1, heli 2, and heli 3. So if you add in a fourth helicopter, you would just put a comma and change it to heli 4, or whatever you name it. Um, and so on. So if you have another one, you just do heli 5, and it should work with all of them, as far as you go. Um, so if you did not have heli 2's part, or heli 3's part, it would not delete the crew for heli 2 and heli 3, and it would delete all the vehicles. So without these parts split up like this, it would not delete the crews and just delete the vehicles. So these are deleting the crews, just, just so we understand that. Um, so if you have another four, remember you just copy and paste this part, add a fourth part. And by this part, I mean this part. All right, so let's check out this in action real quick. So hopefully they don't crash because they've been doing that because I, I made them grouped so they're just crashing, which again, doesn't matter. They can be separate. So they're all going to fly, and what you're going to notice is whatever helicopter is in front, it's going to hit the trigger area, and it's going to delete all of them instantly. So the only problem with that is if some of them are behind for some reason, they're just going to go poof. <laughs> like, they're just going to delete before they hit it. So, but you notice that did delete the crew, and that deleted all the vehicles right away. Which is what we want. Um, so what you could do is you could set a countdown, which would mean once the conditions are met, it will activate after a certain amount of time. So if you put it to like, let's do like 10 seconds. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's do like 10 seconds. And let's just take a look. And what that should do is, <clears throat> once the first helicopter hits, it'll start counting to 10 seconds. And it gives the other ones a second to catch up. And it should be counting now. 
and they have a chance to fly in everything's looking good and then they delete so that's a little fix for you guys um, <clears throat> I don't know why I'm losing my voice sorry so hopefully that helps you out um, chaot MC um, I don't know why the other one, was, other one wasn't working but it wasn't really ideal anyways because I had you guys just make more triggers which you don't want to make more triggers so I'll be sure to put this code down in the description so you can just copy and paste it but you remember you have to change this variable and this variable and that's all you would change and then obviously for this part you would change whatever variables you have in here you just have a comma, comma in between each and and that should work great for you guys so you can have your helicopters uh, trucks I mean it doesn't matter what it is it could be a group of guys for all it doesn't matter <clears throat> but you can have them going by and then delete themselves so they don't waste any space or anything any uh, any resources on your multiplayer map or whatever it is so I hope that helps guys um, I'll be sure to bring out some more videos I'm still working on stuff um, but yeah have fun creating and I'll see you guys later